Hey everyone, S Dub Nation here, and welcome back to a brand new MonsterVerse ranking here on the channel. I like to stop and take the time to rank all four final battles of every MonsterVerse film, right from the worst to the best. Please note that everything that I will say in this video is just my very own opinion. My list is certainly not the right list, it is just my list, and you're free to comment down below your ranking of all four MonsterVerse final battles, right from the worst to the best, just like me, or you could just do your favor. I'm incorporating Godzilla 2014, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Kong Skull Island, and Godzilla vs. Kong. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter that's going to pop up on your screen right now. Don't forget to check out the regular podcast where we do have our spoiler discussion over there. Like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get right into our ranking. Kick it off my list at number four for me. It has got to go to Kong Skull Island. Now, I love to watch Kong fight. Like, Kong is just raw. If I had to choose between Godzilla or Kong to watch fight for, like, the rest of my life or, like, an entire movie... I would rather watch Kong fight for an entire movie. And that's one of the reasons why I really do like this final battle. Now, my number four and my number three are interchangeable at, at any time. Because this was actually going to be at my number three. But it just feels too much like humans are interfering to make it feel like an actual Kong versus the big one fight. I mean, obviously, we get that monster battle between Kong and the big skull crawler. But the humans intervene a lot. And though Kong did need it... I did feel like it was mostly the humans being the most valuable member than actually Kong. And I think that this final battle has everything. It has the stakes. It has the fear. It has the monster mayhem inside of it. It has the awesomeness with Kong picking up like anchors using them as brass knuckles or like a tree using it as a bow staff like just to hit the skull crawler. We have all of that action and it's set in daylight so you can see everything and the CGI is great here. But like I said, it feels too much like humans are interfering and you don't really just get that big monster on monster battle. Kicking off my top three list has got to go to Godzilla 2014. Now as this being my favorite MonsterVerse film, obviously I'm going to have some bias inside of this. And that's a little bit of a reason why it pushed up to number three instead of it being at number four where I originally had it planned to be at. But one thing that makes this better than Kong Skull Island is the fact that there's barely any human interference. Interference. Obviously, there is some human interference because the movie is set from the perspective of the humans. We get to see these big giant monsters from the perspective of the humans, so it makes us feel small. But throughout the entire film, they have been teasing this big reveal of Godzilla fighting one of these Mewtwo's. This is obviously the payoff from all of the teases that was set up inside of the entire film up to this point you have that great moment where godzilla charges up from the tail and then you see the light up from the shadows and then he just atomic breaths a mewtwo or you see him pry open a mewtwo's mouth and just atomic breath down their throat all of that works great here because it's just a satisfying payoff to an annoying setup too many people but i think all of that setup is one of the things that makes me love this movie but when you finally get to see that Godzilla action you've been waiting for, it's, it's set at nighttime. And you can barely see anything. And who really likes to watch Godzilla fight other than him using his powers? That's why I would rather watch Kong fight than Godzilla. My runner-up at number two has got to go to Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now, this is actually a big improvement over the 2014 version. Now, don't get me wrong. This is still the worst MonsterVerse film. But in terms of action, this is actually better than that other film. Mainly because we get to see the monsters actually fight. Obviously, it's set at nighttime. Obviously, it's kind of dark, so you barely can see anything. But then again... Like one of my criticisms, there's so much blue and yellow inside of this film. Like, it's always blue, yellow, or red. All of those colors are put front and center here as you see Godzilla, the blue, versus King Ghidorah. The yellow with Rodan and Mothra coming in there with the red and also the other blue. And I think all of that works because it brings the mythology full circle. Throughout this entire film, we have been setting up these monsters. Mothra, Rodan, Ghidorah, Godzilla. We have been showing off these monsters a lot. And we get to see them fight inside of the final battle. We get to see Mothra and Rodan fight. We get to see Mothra sacrifice herself to save Godzilla's life. We get to have the sacrifices. We get to have the human interactions as well, which those are the weakest part of the movie. But we actually get to see King Ghidorah and Godzilla fight. And Ghidorah poses a big threat to Godzilla. And though the Mewtwo's did pose a big threat in that movie... King Ghidorah just feels a little bit more overpowered 
over Godzilla. And I think it kind of balanced out a little bit when Mothra gave Godzilla the thermonuclear powers that, you know, make them too OP in my opinion. Whereas the entire movie has all of the great action, I find that this final battle is just great because... It's about two alpha titans fighting for the position of king. And you also have the side monsters getting into the action as well. And in the end, we get to see Godzilla just slurp up Ghidorah's middle head. While also firing his atomic breath into his neck, through his mouth, and just exploding the head while also eating it. I thought all of that was pretty great. And also the thermonuclear... Godzilla, there's just a lot of cool things that happen in this final battle that deal with the monsters that you can see. And as we see Godzilla rise above the other monsters as king, it feels like it was earned and deserved. But coming into my number one, has got to go to Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, the special thing about this is the fact that it actually has two final battles with the title character themselves, Godzilla and Kong, fighting their last couple of rounds. And also, we move into Mecha Godzilla versus Godzilla and also Kong. And I think. I love both of these final battles equally. Obviously, the Godzilla vs. Kong fight was the one that we came for. It was the title of the movie, and when we actually get to see that, it's very satisfying because there is a clear winner. Obviously, it has been a week since the film came out, so we can lift the spoiler ban. Kong loses the fight, and though you do feel satisfied that there is a clear winner, I still feel like you do feel a little bit emotional and a little bit sorry for Kong when he's underneath Godzilla's foot because... We just spent the entire movie with this character. This was basically his movie. And for the outcome to be what it was, it's kind of disappointing. But on the positive, everything about this fight is just great. You have the big alpha titans fighting each other. I think all of that worked perfectly well. And I just love the setting of it. I love the fact that it's set at night. I love the neon colors of Hong Kong. And I just love how irrelevant the human characters are. This fight is just about showcasing these two characters fighting. And when a clear winner happens, though you do feel sorry for Kong, you still gotta admit, that was an awesome fight. And let's not forget about the Mecha Godzilla fight. Because, I mean, Godzilla, yeah, he did beat Kong. But Godzilla was getting molly whopped by Mecha Godzilla. And I didn't like how Mecha Godzilla came to be with the advancements of technology and also Ghidorah powering him. But I thought the action of Mecha Godzilla was pretty great. They did a nice job with balancing and also showing distinctly how each character in this battle fights. Kong has a different style of fighting from Godzilla. Godzilla has a different style of fighting from Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla has a different style of fighting from Kong. I thought all of that worked perfectly well and when you see these two alpha titans that just got out of a fight team up together it's just so much fun because we see Godzilla getting mollywhopped and you do feel sorry for Godzilla now but when Kong comes in to help Godzilla it feels like they're best buds. Godzilla powers up the axe and then Kong just just cuts through Mecha Godzilla rips off his head and just does a fatality. Kong wins. You know, nice little Mortal Kombat reference in there. Since that is the next movie I will be reviewing on this channel, I just think all of that worked perfectly well here because you get the monster mayhem, you get the tag team, you get the overall edge of your seat action. I think if you blend the Godzilla and Kong fight with the Mecha Godzilla, Godzilla and Kong fight, you put that all together, you just got a big epic monster battle on your hands but what made it so fascinating was that we actually get to see these two alpha titans that spent the entire movie on opposite sides and when you see them have a level of respect for each other at the end you can't help but like it this is why Godzilla vs. Kong's final battle has to come in at number one. Alright guys, that was it for the ranking. Please know that everything that I did say in this video was just my very own opinion. My list was certainly not the right list. It was just my list. And you are free to comment down below your ranking of all of the MonsterVerse final battles. Ranked from the worst to the best just like me. Or you could just do your favor. Please don't forget to come back tomorrow where we are going to be ranking all of the MonsterVerse monsters. So that's including the villains and also the hero monsters themselves. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter that's going to pop up on your screen right now. And also note that I do not find any monster final battle on this list to be terrible. I just like some more than others, but all of them are pretty entertaining and enjoyable. Don't forget to check out that playlist in the description where it has all of my MonsterVerse content on my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and I will see you all next time. Peace.